Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So I honestly, I hate making videos like this, but it, this is what's happening, so this is what we got to talk about. We got some new laws that are going to be starting in just about a week, and these new laws are going to cause a lot of problems for a lot of people. But on September the 13th, if you live in the state of New York, you're now going to have to do background checks for ammunition. That's right. And New York is also making some changes to how they deal with the NYX system. So let's talk about what's going on. Now, real quick, I just want to thank you all very much for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, consider hitting that subscribe button. We have Second Amendment content on a daily basis, news and reviews. And I've got a lot of great stuff coming up. If you are not seeing my videos all the time, hit that little bell notification and leave a comment. Let me know what's going on. With that being said, let's go ahead and get to the video. Okay, so let's go and start off and just talk real quick about some of the changes that are happening to the NICS system in New York. So the way that it used to work was the person that was doing the transfer would contact the FBI. The FBI would do a background check, run it through the NICS system, and then give that information back to the person doing the transfer. Well, New York wanted to add an extra layer to that, and so now what's going to happen in New York is they're going to take that information, they're going to transfer it over to a department of the police, they're going to take all that information about that particular transfer, and then they're going to forward that on to the FBI, who's going to do the same NICS background check, and instead of it going back to the person who's doing the transfer, it's going to go back to the police. The police will then give the information on whether it's approved or denied back to the person who's doing the transfer. So what they've done is they've added an extra layer in between where now they can run state checks as well as federal checks on, on that particular person. So again, there is now an extra layer in New York between the FBI and the transfer. So again, it's there's a lot more going on now in New York and they're going to be checking on a lot more through these background checks. Okay, so now let's go ahead and talk about what you guys actually clicked on the video for, which is the ammunition background checks that are going to be starting in New York on September the 13th. So this is very similar to what they're doing in California. And in California, it really caused a lot of problems. I mean, it started off bad and just continued to get worse. There were a lot of uh, false positives. There were a lot of people that were getting denied, even though they had absolutely no reason to be denied. Uh, we're talking about active duty law enforcement and military and people that you wouldn't think would get denials were sent walking with nothing in hand. I mean, it, it was really bad. So there's a lot of lawsuits uh, going on in California right now that, that are challenging that. And I think that eventually that'll be overturned just because of all the problems that it's caused. And again, New York is doing something very similar here. So just like when you would walk into a shop to get something that's serialized, if you walk in there and you're looking for ammunition, you're going to have to go through a background check. That background check is going to have a $2.50 fee that's going to be associated with that. And you're going to have to conduct it just like you would anything else. You're going to have to provide your ID. You're going to have to provide all of your information, all of your identifying information, everything like that. And then they're going to have to run that check. So you're not going to be able to just leave immediately. You're going to have to wait for that check to come back. And if that check comes back and it says, that it's denied, then you're going to have to leave empty handed. And I think that you're going to be seeing, just like in California, a lot of false positives in New York as well. Because again, with that two layered system, the way that they're going to be doing it, it's going to go through the state police. And so they're going to be cross referencing records and things like that in order to verify who you are. And in, in a lot of cases, there's people who have the same name as somebody else, and that can cause a problem. So as you can see, in just over a week, you're going to see a lot of people having a hard time in the state of New York because they're not going to have uh, what they need. And, and so this is going to be a very difficult thing for a lot of people. And I, I haven't seen anything quite yet or heard anything from anybody, but I assume there's going to be lawsuits that are going to be challenging this one as well. There just absolutely has to be because, again, it's protected by the Second Amendment. This is something that's never existed before, and it's going to cause a lot of problems. But again, these are new laws that kind of stem from a 2022. I believe it's kind of all started in 2022. So back in 2022, Hochul announced that people are going to have to provide their information and details about the transaction when they were to go into a shop. So the way that it was running up until the 13th is you go in, you still have to give them your information, your identifying information. They put everything out about the transaction on a piece of paper, uh, you know, what it was, how much it was, you know, what type it was, all that stuff. All your information is going to go on there. And then the dealer was just basically supposed to keep that record on hand. Well, that was back then. And now it's expanded to we want to do the complete background check. So like I always say, you know, you start off with a little bit and then that slippery slope just continues to go downhill. So just based on somebody who used to live in California for 42 years, I can tell you this is not going to go off without a hitch and it's going to cause a lot of problems for a lot of people. And hopefully, you know, we're able to file a lawsuit. Hopefully somebody files a lawsuit, maybe the FPC or the GOA or somebody, and they're able to get an injunction to stop this because I can only predict that it's not going to go well. 
that's the way that I see it. But I wanted to make you guys aware of that. If you're somebody who lives in New York and, uh, you know, you see this timeline kind of counting down here to the 13th, you know, that's the time that you have until you're going to have to pay a $2.50 fee and go through all sorts of headaches and you're going to have to wait until it comes back. So again, it's, it's more or less like a, a heads up to everybody out there that this is what's going on and I wanted to make you aware of it. So anyway, I want to thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If there's a lawsuit that's filed against this, I will let you guys know uh, as soon as possible and hopefully we can get it overturned. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.